Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Mineral with J-Man Speaks. Welcome to 18 Friday. That's Ask the Experts. Anything Meaningful Friday. I'm giving you one of these. All my life. Been grinding all my life. That's all you get. Copyright. Can't go more than that. Uh, but today we're talking about all the Zoom updates that you didn't even know existed because you haven't updated your Zoom since ever, I would bet. Um, and here's, here's how often you should. Every time before you go hop on a Zoom, you should update it because I was planning this out yesterday and then there was another update yesterday. So if you did it last week, if you did it Monday, it's very important because some of the updates I'm going to talk about today, whew, there's some apps that they released that integrate with your Zoom. There's an immersive view that that's really, really cool. Um, and I'm going to try some different things. I need to hop on with us if you want, Mr. Jeffrey Scott Stanton. I don't know if you're camera ready, if you hit hair and makeup yet, uh, but you can always hop on with us as well. Uh, the, the link is in the comments. I'm going to tell you, if you're ever going to publicly advertise a Zoom, you never want to put the meeting invite, uh, the straight meeting invite, straight to the meeting in the comments of any broadcast. I am not modeling the best behavior because the Zoom bombers will get it. But hey, if we're lucky today, maybe a Zoom bomber will show up. I don't care because it's for fun. You ain't going to do nothing to me, bro. So uh, just know that when we plan these, anything can happen. It's very exciting. I like to live on the edge and try to figure out, this is what I want to do today. Can I do it? Let's find out. Okay, because when you share your screen on Zoom, uh, a lot of times you can't see what is on the actual interface. So what I'm going to do is share my screen an ecam to you guys on Facebook, but I already have the Zoom open uh, with a couple willing or unwilling volunteers. I don't know if Christina Sue doesn't look very willing. Um, and Billy, Billy didn't believe me. She had to update. She was like, "I just did it," and I'm like, "Please just do it again if you could." Um, and it worked. It worked. But here's what I want to say before we we hop over to them. The reason why I continuously update you is because all of this will set you apart from the other realtors in your market, right? Some have been on Zoom and they still haven't like created a pro account and they still don't have virtual backgrounds. They don't do any, all of the things that I talk about to set themselves apart. Every single buyer, every single seller that we work with, we meet like this first because they're used to it from the last 16 months. Why wouldn't you, uh, you know, we're all so busy. Some of you live in big cities, Chicago, New York, um, Atlanta, you know, with a lot of traffic, uh, Billy's in Montana, so she doesn't have much traffic, but she's got a lot of distance to cover. I think it would be the difference when you're in those more rural areas, you travel 20, 30, 50 miles to your appointments and that's time. So you can be in your pajamas or what I call the, the zoom mullet, right? Business up top party on the bottom. You can have your pajama pants on or whatever. It's all good. And your clients can too. So they feel more comfortable. Um, I have found since I started meeting with clients via Zoom that they're more open to a conversation candidly, right? Because they're comfortable and they're at their home. Whereas when they come to the office, it's such a formal visit. They sit down and you give them coffee and they're worried that they're going to have to sign something or they'll leave there buying something. So just, just something to think about as we hop over. Let's see what we're going to do here. Let's give them a round of applause before we hop over. Yes. Wait, that's not enough. We're going to do crouch here. Here we go. All right. Let's see if this is going to work over here. Woo! All right. All right, all right, all right, folks. Thank you very much. Um, we have a couple volunteers. And again, hop on if you want. I'll keep an eye on the waiting room, and we'll, we'll bring you in. <laughs> if you sit up a little bit. You won't look like just a head on the table, uh, but Christina, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but this is, let's, well, I'm starting with the immersive view, right? So let me just um, exit out a couple things. The immersive view can be found, and this is why I put in the comments how to update your Zoom on your Windows and how to update your Zoom on your Mac, because if you don't have this, it means that you're not updated. And then after you do the update, restart your device. Uh, Cause that's Billy. That's what you had to do, right? You you could talk. You're unmuted. I think. Yeah, that's what I had to do. 
Yeah, because it didn't. It, you did it. It said it was updated, but it really didn't take effect until you restarted your device, you right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. So you see it up here but in the right hand corner. I'm gonna mute you again. I mute think. You again. Unmute yourself. Mute yourself. It's harder to mute people harder from this people. view. Yeah. All right. So you see, you have normal speaker view. You have gallery view, and now it's immersive. With the immersive view, you have a couple different look. We can be like Harry Potter pictures on the wall. This one's pretty cool. Watch this. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> this is like the, I really like this one for some strange reason. Um, if you're going to do, this is larger groups, 25. Check this out. Boom. Ready? Oh, hello. We're on the auditorium. This is so... Like this would be cool if you're gonna do like a home buying seminar, home selling seminar. You get all the people in the seats, and then you're just like, "Good morning, good morning," right? It's 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 a different view. All of this is meant to 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 battle Zoom fatigue, right? Because people are so used to being in the square boxes like this. Um, and it even I can see where where Billy's green screen <laughs> is 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 missing. Um, but here, let's, we're going to go through all of them quickly. Change immersive view. Let's see the sixth one we just did. Oh, here we go. Well, this is only two people. We can't do this. This is great. If you're going to meet with a client though, let me just see what happens if I do this. Um, oh, we got Christina up top. So this is like the fireside. Oh, wait, let me turn this way. Oh, hi, Billy. How are you? We're here having a fireside chat. It's fire Friday. Oh, it is fire Friday, by the way. Um, you guys didn't know what Fat Fire Friday is. Fabulous International Real Estate. So today is a twofer. We're actually going to be... Dun, 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 dun. Go back over here. We're actually going to be going uh, live again at 12.15 with Jolanda Recinos from Hawaii. She's so going to be talking about Hawaii real estate. Uh, but because they're five hours behind us or six hours behind us, I didn't want to make her wake up or stay up till three o'clock for me to do a nine o'clock broadcast. So we're doing a double broadcast today. So this is great. Like for the instructors, if you're going to do a seminar, I think, I guess I would have to face the class. That's kind of weird, right? Hey everybody. So today we're going to be talking about, I'm so little. I feel so, <laughs> uh, look at Christina is like one of my students in class. That's exactly the response I get. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's like, all right, teacher, this is boring. What's going on here? Okay. And then we're going to come back over here. What's our last view? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we'll go here. Oh, there's a kitchen. Right here. Oh, hello. Today we're on Cooking with J-Man. <laughs> right? If you have, if you have some kind of fun cooking show, that would be awesome. It's weird that I'm in the circle too. I I should I should have got rid of that. Hold on, I'm looking at my Zoom rather than my other screen. Um, and then we're gonna come to the last one. Change immersive view. We'll go to this. I don't know if we did this one or not. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, and it, it seats us all together. What? I, I don't know. Let me see if I can. Can I move you? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Billy, you sit over there because you're quite chatty. Christina, we're going to put you in the back over here because you're going to fall asleep on me again. And then this guy over here is a troublemaker. You put him right in the front. That's cool that you can put, you know, you can slide people around wherever you want. So if you're having, again, all of this could be just more fun. If you're going to have a committee meeting, a board meeting virtually, you're going to do some kind of seminar. All of this really just changes it up and makes it super cool. Now, let me go back to the gallery for a second. Oh, the old fashioned gallery. See, look, now coming back here, I feel like we went back in time to 1984 to this boring ass gallery view. I can't even, I can't even anymore. Let me go back over here. I'm going, I'm going to go back to the, what did we start with? Let's go here to this, the boardroom. All right, Billy, you're sitting over there. There, you got a nice view. Christina's over here. She's on her iPad, it looks like, there. <laughs> and I'm just going to be sitting on both seats. All right. It doesn't let you. Oh, I got to sit in a certain seat on this one. But you can. I can size this up to make it bigger, it seems like. Oh, yeah. 
hello, I'm the king of the boardroom. Right? So that's cool. You can size that up. But here's the other thing I want to show you. Um, you can't let a guy with ADHD start playing with toys because then I'm just here. He goes, just watch it. This is what I would do if I was by myself, quite honestly. I'd be here playing with playing with the things. Um, so Jeffrey's question is, does it work for meetings and webinars? Um, I'm on meetings now. I don't use webinars hardly ever. Uh, but I would think so. Like with webinars, with the with the panelist view, it, it, it should. That's a great question. I'm going to try that. Try that later. See, that's why I like having you guys on. Uh, but if you see now, I'm going to scroll down. This is what's going to be different for you guys. You may not have. Oh, shit. I had recording pause. Shoot, I meant. Hold on. <laughs> recording in progress. Okay, now it's in progress. But I've recorded the whole stream. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you have, you have the chat. You guys know that. The share screen, the polls. But here's the big difference is the apps. You may have never seen this because I didn't see this until yesterday. Now, I, I went into here and I ahead of time I downloaded all the, all of these apps. Um, there's only like 20 something to discover, but uh, we're gonna try one right now just to, the ask away one is kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. You're seeing what I would see as, as the host of the meeting. Okay, hold on. Let me close this first. Start it over. Ask way. Close all. Because you're going to have to join this in order to play. Like if you have your phone, if you're watching on another device or something, or even on your device that you're on now, it'll pop up on a different screen. So let me just... Try this one more time here. All right, look at the chat. I posted it in the chat. I'll repost it if you can't see. In first thing you want to do is download the app itself. Um, so it should be, again, you go to the lower right-hand corner. Christina, do you see that where it says apps? Okay, download the app that says Ask Away. And this is where you get, there's going to be some setup ahead of time. You're not going to want to do this in the middle of a meeting typically. Um, but after joining, then you just click this link that's in the chat. If you don't see it, I'm going to copy this again because Christina joined late. And she may not be able to see it, so I'm going to repost. Okay. Billy, do you see it in the chat? Okay. So then what you would do is... <laughs> This is funny. Um, so I would share it like this, and it becomes one of the screens that I'm sharing. Um, but I'm not going to do that because then it takes up because of how I'm doing this. Where the heck did it go? I lost it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was a good one. Okay. So what would J-Man Speaks' pro wrestler name be? Now, you wouldn't normally be able to see this. I'm going to go with Wonderkin Whopper. Yeah. And so the other people in the meeting would also then, yes, true or false, J-Man speaks, sleeps with at least one stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's say true. You don't know about my, my quishy. What does my son call it? Squishy, squishy, a little squishy. Uh, would J-Man Speaks rather hit a possum or a raccoon with a car by accident? Hmm. It's got to be a possum because you never really know. It could be playing, and maybe I didn't really kill it, and I would be happy about that. I didn't want to hurt that little animal. Um, is J-Man Speaks a cry laugher? You already know I like to cry when I laugh. Okay. Um, that's all we're going to do. Just wanted to show you guys that. It's just another way to kind of boost engagement in your meeting. Have fun. Um, heads up if you've ever played the heads up game where like somebody. Here. We'll do it right now. 
on you play it on your mobile device somebody goes like this and there's something on their head and then everybody else tries to describe what it is and then that person tries to guess so if i go animals gone wild we play you're gonna have to i'll oh, add players copy invite see all this is a learning process for me as well so as you're doing this stuff you have to be a good multitasker and be able to segue and while you're copy and pasting rather you know rather than have the awkward silence so let's see you see it in the chat yep okay what happens you click it I'm waiting for others to join so we can play Animals Gone Wild. No? Okay. Had they joined one of us, and it's going to be difficult because I can't, you, they can't share their screens right now and I can't do mine, but I'm showing you what it looks like as the host. Um, one person would have it come up and then other the other people would would have to describe it, similar to the real game. Okay, one more thing. Uh, Mentimeter, if you've never done anything with that, it's a pretty good engagement booster. Um, I used this actually in the Montana uh, State Conference, Billy. This is this, what I used when I asked, like, okay, what fun activity would you like to do this week? Um, and then people would vote. So they go to menti.com and use the code but then this is right in the meeting if I shared it with you. Again, I'm not going to share the screen because then it's going to mess up how I'm sharing this with everybody. Back and then Kahoot. You've, uh, Kahoot is what I use a lot for the games, but let's do the Thrive Reset. The timer is a great one, a productivity. Um, I have an on-screen timer, but if you don't have the same software I have, this is pretty cool. It will allow you to just say, okay, I'm going to do uh, a five-minute timer. So, Jeff, you're you're watching this. You have a meeting or something. You guys are going to take a break. All right, we're going to take a five-minute break. You you take this, and then you share it, and then that's all they see is the timer. It's pretty nice. I used to use like a, a timer that I found on Chrome before I had the software and then share that. But then it you know it has the audible and all that. So let me close this out, pause that. And then we're going to do a Thrive Reset. This is fun. Okay, so we're going to do small good things, tap into gratitude, reframe your stress. Again, you're doing a three-hour meeting? This is a Thrive Reset. Hold on. Breathe in and breathe out. Every day brings challenges that can stress us out. And even small challenges can seem very big if we let them. They can grow so big that they weigh us down. But in reality, many of our daily stressors are very small. Right now, let go of one thing that's causing you stress. See it as just one wave on the shore of an infinite sea. Breathe into it as you picture it. Now, as you breathe out, let it go. Inhale. And as you exhale. All right, that's it. That's good, right? Ah, Usa, that's hard for me. It's really hard for me. And I, that's why I really like, like if I had a, a three hour CE class, I might throw in one or two of these, like just for a one one minute, because just because it's not my thing, it doesn't mean it can't benefit the participants in the meeting, right? I did find myself calming, and then I'm like, yo, I can't calm down because it's morning and I got things to do. Let's go, okay? But there's all a whole bunch of other ones you have. For those of you who don't have virtual backgrounds, there's virtual backgrounds that I can change right in here uh, with the apps. And then there's a couple other other games in here that I downloaded, and then Warmly is pretty good. It will actually, I'll just click on it so you see what, what it's all about. Warmly will tell you information about people that you're gonna have a meeting with. 
So if I was going to meet with Jeffrey Scott Stanton, um, it, it scours the internet, tells me information like, oh, Jeffrey just got promoted. Uh, he's got two cats. He's got three kids and all that information to help you prepare for the meeting and build, you know, build better rapport. Um, I know when I hop on a, a Zoom with somebody, and they're like, oh, how are the kids? And I go, oh, they're so great, five and ten, you know, you know, then I'm like, I like this person because they asked about my family because the family is important to me, right? The people that just go right to the business and like, yo, 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 you know, while I can appreciate getting right to the point, I don't get the warm and fuzzies, okay? And so this is why the warmly comes in. Jeffrey's like, no cats, no kids. I'm sending you a cat today. I'm going to have it delivered. You're going to like it. Uh, I'm allergic to cats, so I can't. I can't. All right. Just do that. Do that. Do that. And uh, there's also, if you don't have the updates, there's all kind of reactions, different reactions that weren't there. Used to be just a couple. But now, again, if you're going to have people, it's a way to boost engagement in a meeting without having them talk. You got 50, 70. Jeffrey, I have 700 people on his. Um, if you're doing a meeting, uh, great way to not have them on mute because then if they can't mute themselves again, it could be a problem. It could be a disruption to your meeting. Okay? So I'm going to come back over here. That brings us right to the 930. You can have one of my cats, Billy said. All right. So we came back over here. Uh, again, thank you, Christina and Billy, for being our unwilling participants today. <laughs> Uh, I salute you, applaud you, appreciate you. Uh, and again, uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be available on our site for you guys to re to review. Again, we're gonna post it on our YouTube channel. Uh, but the <laughs> Jeffrey said no, thank you, Billy. He said keep the cats. Meow. Um. But any questions, put them in the chat. The reason why I do this again. You got to zoom at a next level. You should be incorporating zoom into your systems and strategies regardless of whether we're opened up because some of your markets are also then might be closing back down. I know there's some mask mandates that have gone back into effect uh, in different parts of the country. So just another way to keep people safe. Uh, I've shown property via Zoom uh, because it's great how it records, right? The recording feature of it, of it is fantastic. It records in 1080p if you change your settings um, and contact Zoom, Zoom tech support. Uh, if you want, I will post this in the in the comments. And again, I have a 16-page Zoom tips document. Um, and it has screenshots of your settings that you should change. And it has um, the rationale why I think you should change it. Right? Because if you don't, if you look, if, if I went back to my Zoom, all of the things that I have, a lot of those are options that you need to turn on. Like if you don't see breakout rooms, if you don't see a chat, if you don't see re, uh, multiple reactions, even though you're 100% updated, a lot of the times that's changing your settings up. Okay? So today was short and sweet, just like my mama. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, I mean, you're 4'11 and a half. So you are short and sweet. 